Hello, this is Jean-Marc from Millibox. And uh, I heard a lot about TMY Tech. I wanted to see it for myself. So I invited Ethan and he's going to talk to us about it. And then we're going to try it and see how good it is in the Millibox. Thank you, Jean-Marc. My name is Ethan Ling, co-founder and VP of TMY Tech. Today is my pleasure to introduce our Bbox Lite. Bbox Lite is a ready-to-use beamformer. The whole set it works like a face array. You, you not only have a uh, array antenna, you also have the full eye front end in the, in the box. The device is extremely easy to use, plug and play. Then you are able to control the face and amplitude of each channel and even control the beam direction. I'm also excited to see how it works with the MIDI box. Let's try it. Our setup is now complete. We set up the uh... B box light right at the center of rotation of the gimbal 4 to 30, which is installed in an MBX2 from Mini Box. And we are doing the measurement with the VNF from Copper Mountain. So, with that setup, what we can achieve is a over the air radiation pattern measurement of the B box light while we are controlling it. And we'll see how it goes. So now we are looking at the TMY Tech uh, UI, and we see that uh, we have an interactive U UI where we can control uh, the, the we can steer the beam to different direction. Here we set to both sides, and we started uh, doing the capture over the air. We're using the uh, the uh, MIDI box Python controller for the gimbal and the acquisition of the trace from the from the VNA. So at this point, the sweep is progressing nicely, and we see already that uh, we have a main lobe uh, forming from the uh, heat map. It's nicely centered where we wanted it to be. After a few minutes, our uh, sweep is complete, and now we can see the uh, heat map is formed. Our uh, radiation pattern is nicely aligned. And when we uh, close it, we do a rendering in 3D. And uh, we see a uh, radiation pattern that we just captured. So that's consistent with a very nice uh, main lobe uh, in both sides, as we predicted. So now the thing is that uh, with the uh, TMY Tech uh, uh, Intuitive UI, we can move uh, the the beam direction like like we we just did at, at 20 degree, and then we can start a plot again. And the, the the sweep will tell us uh, whether the uh, the beam steering was effective. Our sweep is now complete, and we see that the uh, the main lobe has shifted twenty degree, like we induced from the TMY Tech uh, UI. So that's exactly what we uh, expected to see. Then, as we uh, render it in three D, we have the uh, uh, an exact match of our uh, intuitive UI and the actual uh, over the air capture of the of the beam effectively. So I was really impressed with the B box and the fact that it's got all the component the the different component of a uh, of a millimeter wave system from the the phase array, the phase shifters, the the beam forming uh, capabilities. That gives a very intuitive view to the user on how those different components interact and how to verify them. So what did you think, Ethan? Um, I'm impressed about how easy Minibus uh, can be set up and I get a first uh, OTA pattern within one hour. So uh, it's the easy, easiest way to verify the beam pattern. So as a conclusion, a, a whole system like this gives you all the capabilities of control and verification of all aspects of a millimeter wave design, right? Whether you are whether you are a, a, a millimeter wave phase array designer, whether you are beam forming designer, whether you're new to this kind of design, or you are doing some advanced research, you you'll find something valuable in a in a setup like this. And and I think from the modularity to the to the affordability of a of a, a, a setup like this that's really beneficial to a lot of millimeter wave designers um so th that's all for today thank you ethan thank and you. talk to you guys later